a conservationist, Paul Rosalie, set out to be eaten alive by a green anaconda. The last thing I remember is seeing the snake's mouth open straight at my face. A woman in Ohio who had a boa constrictor stuck to her face. Just lying at the bottom of the river and I'm looking up, wedged inside the hippo's mouth. Two large saltwater crocodiles in a billabong. One of those crocodiles was later examined. A quantity of human remains were recovered. A woman in Colorado who was attacked by a bear. Human remains were found inside the stomach of the suspected bear and in one of her two cubs. Outdoor ventures involve uncertainty, be it from wildlife, landscapes, weather, or unforeseeable circumstances. Join us today to witness some of the most puzzling discoveries that had a jaw-dropping end. Conservationist Paul Rosalie set out to be eaten alive by a green anaconda. In 2014, wildlife conservationist Paul Rosalie set out on a daring mission that left the world in awe. Rosalie decided to take on a giant anaconda, one of the most formidable predators in the Amazon. The green anaconda, known for its size and strength, can reach lengths exceeding six meters and weigh several hundred pounds. To protect himself during this unprecedented encounter, Rosalie put on a specially designed carbon fiber suit. However, the bulkiness of the suit hindered his movements, leading him to remove some padding from his arm protection. This would turn out to be a mistake he should never have made. Rosalie started to feel the pressure on his exposed arm and instantly made the decision to tap out. It's wrapped up and just you feel that crush. And I just, you know, for over an hour, I couldn't, I couldn't see, I couldn't hear much, and I just had a Which was good, to be honest, and he ended the stunt. Expectedly, many people were not only disappointed, but also criticized his decision. Prowling Crocs. The man fishing in a river was snatched from his boat Sunday by a 15-foot-long crocodile. The mystery surrounding a missing fisherman in Australia took a surprising turn with his remains that were discovered inside two crocodiles that were found in the area where the 65-year-old angler was reported to have disappeared. Authorities identified the reptiles as potential culprits in the incident. One of those crocodiles was later examined and a quantity of human remains were recovered. The Queensland police revealed that these crocs, after a quick examination, had to be put down by wildlife officers in order to retrieve the missing man, who was later identified as Kevin Darmody by Australian media. The discovery occurred upstream from where the fisherman was last seen in the Kennedy River at Raniero National Park. The area, known for its crocodile population, was the focus of an extensive search operation. Despite utilizing a helicopter in the remote region, authorities couldn't locate the missing fisherman until the startling find. The development has taken an unusual turn, as it's exceptionally rare to encounter two crocodiles together like that. The police have since concluded the search and rescue operation. Surviving a Hippo. It's lying at the bottom of the river and I'm looking up and I'm wedged inside the hippo's mouth. Paul Templer's survival story reads like a thriller set in the wild waters of Africa. Leading a safari with seven canoes, Templer's life took an unexpected turn when a giant bull hippo charged at the canoe. He tried to rescue his colleague Evans, but in the process, Templer found himself waist deep inside the hippo's mouth. Suddenly, my world went dark and so quiet and warm. His recounting of the experience is vivid. Templer describes lying at the river's bottom, realizing he was inside the hippo. After an initial attempt to save Evans, the hippo inexplicably spat Templer out, only to partially swallow him again during another rescue effort. The struggle with the hippo left him tired and had to be taken to the hospital. Saved by another guide in a kayak, Templer's survival journey involved an arduous boat ride and an eight-hour drive to the hospital. Despite this, he encourages others not to shy away from safari trips. Pet Bear Kellyanne Waltz, a 37-year-old woman, met her end at the paws of a 350-pound black bear. Kelly's husband, Michael Waltz, happened to be a pet dealer, but his license to keep and sell exotic animals expired back in June 2008. A tiny technicality, he claimed. In a rural area in the Poconos Mountains, about 20 miles northeast of Allentown, Kelly stepped into the bear's 15 by 15 foot steel and concrete cage. 
she had a shovel full of dog food to distract the bear while cleaning. Somewhere in this chore, the bear turned on her. Tim Conway from the Pennsylvania Game Commission said he was shocked and bewildered by Kelly's act to enter the cage. He said it was a mistake, reminding us that these animals aren't your cuddly buddies. They're wild, unpredictable beings. Cayman Man Adelson Oliveira, a 47-year-old farmer, vanished without a trace. All that remained were his flip-flops and a lighter near the local river. The prime suspect behind this disappearance was a monstrous 13-foot black caiman. Local investigators tracked down the creature after a day-long search. The Palmas Forensic Medical Institute revealed results, suggesting Oliveira had become the caiman's prey around two weeks prior. Inside the stomach, they discovered bones, hair, and even plastic bags. Oliveira had been working on a local farm when one fateful night, he and fellow laborers set up camp on the riverbank. The attack occurred unnoticed during the dark hours, with him fishing near the water's edge. To help, Oliveira's family provided DNA samples for analysis. I guess you have to be careful when choosing your fishing spot from now on, huh? 13-foot alligator I threw a rock at the gator just to see if it was like really a gator and like it was and it just it pulled the body like it was holding on to the lower part of the torso. This 13 foot alligator in a canal had something strange in its mouth. It was found in Largo, Florida and authorities were called in. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office reported that the male alligator was put down after being removed from the water. Why? Well, so that the human remains could be retrieved apart from the ones that were in its mouth. While authorities stopped short of confirming whether the alligator was responsible for it, such incidents are rare. With an average about six alligator encounters reported in the U.S. each year, according to AZ Animals. Florida has a population of over one million alligators and averages about eight unprovoked alligator on human events. Jamarcus Bullard, who witnessed the incident, threw a rock at the alligator and observed it pulling the lower part underwater. Authorities later identify the person who had previously been caught trespassing onto wetlands months prior. Pet Lion An incident in the Czech Republic where a 34-year-old Michael Presek met his demise at the hands of a pet lion. The pet lion, caged in his backyard, was kept illegally within the neighborhood. He was found by his father in the pen of the nine-year-old lion. Shockingly, the enclosure was locked from the inside. Now no, this wasn't out of the love or craze of wild animals, but rather seen as a business opportunity. Prasik had purchased the lion in 2016 and added a lioness to his collection to have them both breed without going through any legality. Both animals were housed in enclosures that were made to remain hidden in plain sight, since the illegal breeding had previously led to fines. Belly of the Beast In Indonesia, the mystery of a missing man named Akbar took a horrifying turn. The 25-year-old palm oil harvester disappeared without a trace on March 25, 2017. A manhunt then followed, which led villagers to come across a shocking discovery in Akbar's own backyard. The enormous 7-meter-long python became the center of attention as villagers, desperate to find Akbar, decided to investigate. A fully clothed Akbar emerged from the snake's stomach. This person of interest was reported to have left his home for a day of work, wearing the same boots that he was found in from within the snake. The discovery suggested a sudden and unexpected encounter, with the massive python ambushing Akbar from behind. The horrifying incident highlighted the dangers posed by large constrictor snakes in regions where humans and wildlife coexist. This turn of events left the local community shaken by the fate that befell their fellow neighborhood resident. Bear Necessities woman in Colorado who was attacked by a bear while out walking her dogs. Near Durango, Colorado, human remains were discovered in the stomachs of a sow and her yearling bear. This raised suspicions that the bears had consumed a 39-year-old woman. The La Plata County coroner was working to determine the official cause and identify the remains during an autopsy. The woman's body was located off the U.S. Highway 550, where the wildlife officers reported to have seen an abundance of bear scat and hair. We're not going to probably ever have that answer of why or how. How did this encounter take place? 
While the bears displayed no abnormalities, public officials issued a caution against blaming the victim for this event. Corey Chick, CPW Southwest Region Manager, expressed condolences to the woman's boyfriend, family, and friends. You absolutely feel for the boyfriend, her family, and friends. The bear was revealed to be an adult female weighing 204 pounds, along with two of her cubs weighing 58 and 66 pounds, respectively, that were deemed healthy with appropriate fat stores for the season. So, it rules out the hibernation cause, but it is one of those strange encounters that no one knows the answer to, not even the experts themselves. Indonesian Woman Residents were left stunned when this 54-year-old woman named Jara was discovered alongside a python. Jara, a plantation worker in the Jambi province, was found on the very rubber plantation she worked on. The discovery unfolded as a security team and local residents conducted a search around the plantation. To their horror, they encountered this seven-meter-long snake that looked to have fed recently, which made it the prime suspect of preying on the victim. With no other possible leads that remained, the snake was where Jara's body was later recovered, just as it was expected. While pythons typically target smaller prey, experts reported that as these snakes grow larger, they naturally seek bigger prey. Although reports of pythons and human encounters are relatively rare, the incident serves as a reminder that human activities do intersect with wildlife habitats. The shocking discovery left the local community in disbelief, emphasizing the need for awareness and caution in regions where humans and wildlife overlap. Jaws the remains of 32-year-old Diego Barria, who had gone missing, were discovered inside the stomach of a shark. Diego disappeared after driving his all-terrain vehicle along the southern coast of the province. The search team found his ATV at a beach, along with his helmet. A few days later, two fishermen caught three school sharks in the vicinity of the ATV location. While cleaning one of the sharks, they made a shocking discovery. It was only identified by the family through a distinctive tattoo on the arm, and they also DNA tested the family just to be sure. Head of the police department mentioned that the school shark was 4.9 feet long, with the weekend when Diego disappeared being the same. When a significant tidal surge unexpectedly appeared, it left a clue that he could have been in the water. Within a matter of a few days, divers and search teams were able to find sufficient evidence to conclude that the sharks consumed him. While sharks are typically opportunistic feeders and primarily consume smaller fish and invertebrates, they occasionally can get aggressive around humans. Most shark encounters on humans occur when the sharks approach out of curiosity or mistake them for regular prey. Missing Sailor all right, folks, buckle up for a jaw-dropping tale that sounds like it's straight out of a thriller novel. Humphrey Simmons, a regular investment banker, went on a fishing trip with pals. Now, this wasn't like his regular fishing trips, because after he hooked a heavy tiger shark, a foot dropped from its mouth during the struggle while reeling it in. It was around 10 a.m., and the stench from the enormous belly of the shark hit them like a ton of bricks instinct kicked in. They knew they had to bring this sea monster to shore, half expecting more discoveries. Thankfully, that was all they found. An autopsy uncovered the identity, and it was an unidentified sailor. They could not properly identify him, but he was described as a heavy-built man. How he got there, or how the shark swallowed the meal, remains unknown. South African Hunter a chilling tale of events unraveled after a professional hunter, Scott Van Zyl, vanished after he headed out for another routine hunting safari. He was last seen with a pack of dogs when he ventured into the bush. The dogs returned without him, leading to an extensive search operation involving helicopters, trackers, and divers. His belongings were found inside the vehicle, and tracks led rescuers to the riverbank, where his backpack was discovered. Saki Lawrence, part of the search team, revealed that it's likely that two Nile crocodiles came across this seasoned hunter. Search parties discovered unidentified skeletal remains inside two crocodiles on the banks of the Limpopo River. This incident brought forward previous encounters where crocodiles have done similar things. The wild is no place to stroll about flippantly, and this incident just highlights that fact. A Dog's Tale in Santa Rosa, Argentina, a 67-year-old woman, Anna Marat, 
was found deceased in her home. Authorities were alerted by concerned neighbors who couldn't stand the foul smell coming from her apartment. She was suffering from Alzheimer's disease and was alone at home for at least a week before being found. Upon entering her residence, the police were met with a scene of horror. She was on the floor with her pets nibbling on her. Anna had four dogs inside her room with another four that were outside and the smell was of animal feces. Some were surrounding her while others were all over the place. Reports suggest that five pets in particular were involved in the incident. The local prosecutor said that Marot had succumbed to cardiorespiratory arrest and her pets were not well fed. Bethany Lynn Stevens. The death of a woman who deputies in Goochland say was mauled by her own dogs. The mysterious passing of 22-year-old Bethany Stevens has been officially confirmed as an incident related to her pet dogs. The discovery was made by the police when they found Stevens with her pit bulls around her. Her family and friends thought it was a crime, but police had to release reports to inform everyone this was not the case. Police believe the pit bulls, left underfed and isolated in the care of Stevens's father, might have been stressed leading up to the incident. The investigation not only revealed details of what occurred, but also highlighted the care needed to keep pets. The dogs had been moved outside to a kennel, and this made them feel more alone, leading them to be more malnourished. Oh dear! Anthropology researchers captured the first photographic evidence of deer gnawing on a human carcass. A white-tailed deer has been captured on camera chewing on bones, not resembling that of another animal. Surprisingly, this occurred during a study of animal scavengers at the 26-acre body farm. For this study, they allowed an uncaged body in a wooded area to observe the impact of scavengers on decomposition. The shocking discovery took 182 days when a camera trap captured images of a white-tailed deer with a rib bone protruding from its mouth. It was described as holding the bone like a cigar. This behavior had never been seen before and was documented in a case report published in the Journal of Forensic Sciences. While this may sound like a morbid bit of trivia, the study shows that understanding how deer interact with remains can aid forensic investigators. Deer are known to chew on bones to obtain essential minerals such as phosphorus, calcium, and sodium. The study marks the first recorded instance of a deer displaying such behavior. Their cameras captured a young white-tailed deer pick up a bone, and about a week later, they saw it happen again. Hog Day Near Riverton, Oregon, a 69-year-old farmer, Terry Vance Garner, was apparently ambushed by his own hogs that weighed up to 700 pounds each. The shocking discovery was made in the hog enclosure on his farm, but authorities struggled to determine the circumstances. Garner's remains were found inside the enclosure, with traces of animal consumption. The investigation was an absolute wild ride. The authorities were uncertain whether the animals approached him, causing him to fall, or if he suffered a different medical event. But there was one unsettling detail, and that was the discovery of Garner's dentures within the hog enclosure. Additionally, it's revealed that at least one of the hogs had taken a bite. Garner's brother informed everyone that he loved animals. He even mentioned that Terry wouldn't sell them for food. Caged Tiger At a former animal breeding business in Sandstone, Minnesota, a Bengal tiger went head-to-head -head with its owner. Cynthia Lee Gamble's name became the talk of the town due to it. She was found in an area connected to the 500-pound tiger's cage by a small, open gate. Luckily, a man found her who had gone to work on the property. Pine County Sheriff Mark Mansavage reported that two other Bengal tigers on the premises were being cared for by Gamble's friends. But this incident was not exactly on her part. It turns out that the area has no legal restriction or law that stops the residents from keeping exotic animals. Farmer's Mistake This encounter unfolded on a southern Illinois farm in 2004. Al Abel came face to face with a lion while he was cleaning its cage. It was on an exhibition farm he and his wife Kathy had dreamed of for their retirement. The Department of Agriculture's report revealed the circumstances surrounding Al Abel's fate. 
They said that it was a combination of forgetfulness and inexperience. He began cleaning the enclosure of a 379-pound, five-year-old African Barbary lion named Simba alone, a task he had never undertaken by himself. Unfortunately, he forgot to lock the gate behind him as he worked. The lion, which he had raised, became agitated and paced outside its enclosure. Kathy Abel returned home to discover her husband missing, and the lion showing signs of distress. When paramedics arrived at the scene, they tried to revive him, but it was futile. Humphrey the Hippo Marius Els, a 40-year-old army major, succumbed to his pet hippopotamus named Humphrey. The 1.2-ton hippo had been part of Els' life since he adopted it at the age of five months. He had tried to domesticate the massive creature on his 400-acre farm in South Africa. Els had a unique and unconventional bond with Humphrey, even going so far as to ride on the hippo's back and describing it as like a son to him. The incident occurred when Els was found submerged in the river where he had rescued Humphrey years earlier from a flood. The hippo, despite being raised by humans and learning to swim with them, lost control due to its wild instincts. Humphrey had a history of causing trouble, including chasing canoeists on the river and breaking out of its enclosure to chase golfers at a local golf club. Texas Deer So back in 2010, this Texan named Gerald Rushton, who was into deer, kept a massive deer called a European Red Stag as a pet. This pet animal weighed 550 pounds, which is almost twice as much as any large man. During one other routine day feeding, things took a tragic turn after he stepped into the stag's pen. That's where all hell broke loose. The stag went full on berserk and pinned him against the fence. This was too much for Gerald, and he met his maker. It's a tragic tale of a man who, although kept an herbivore animal, was still a wild animal where instincts are more than enough. Wolfpack in Italy, a 74-year-old lady, Mariangela Zaffino, got into a sticky situation with her five pet wolf dogs. They were wild wolves mixed with German shepherds. Talk about a combo. She was found in her apartment near Turin. Now, these furry culprits named Ares, Aelin, Artu, Aragorn, and Apache turned into a pack of trouble. The scene was first witnessed and reported by a surveilling neighbor. Cops were called on the scene and tried to figure out what made these wolf dogs do what they did. The most surprising part came when the police chief confirmed that these furballs were legitimately registered and had a clean record. As the authorities scratched their heads, the pack was taken into custody. Raging Bull Out in eastern Pennsylvania, Ricky Weinhold got into a showdown with an ill-tempered pet bull. It's not your average tale, so brace yourselves. The farm's owner, even Ricky's pals, were all like, get rid of this bull, he's got issues. But the same bull went all WWE on Ricky last summer. Not exactly making for a friendly backyard barbecue, huh? But he didn't listen, and the bull ended up charging him. The son of the farm owner stumbled upon the aftermath in an outdoor pen. Now, this bull wasn't just any bull. Ricky had kept about 10 of them at the farm. But get this, they weren't just livestock, they were his pets. It's an unbelievable twist to a story about a man who loved his animals, even the cranky bull who had a reputation for being a total troublemaker. Nobody knows for sure what set off this bull's rampage. Maybe it was a playful romp gone wrong, or just a grumpy bull on a bad day. Creepy Crawlers in 2004, German police stumbled upon a scene straight out of a nightmare when responding to smell complaints. Police discovered Mark Vogel in his apartment that was covered with webs and was infested with spiders. His prized Black Widow spider had broken free and as a result, stung him. Spiders were scurrying in and out of every place. A true arachnid nightmare. Vogel's exotic collection included large reptiles roaming freely. And hold on to your hats, he had a termite collection too. And these hungry bugs were also on his body. Authorities labeled the pet conditions as equivalent to animal cruelty. 
Vogel had been deceased for almost two weeks before anyone discovered his fate. It's a cautionary tale, a stark reminder that when it comes to exotic pets, you might be signing up for more than you bargained for. Maybe, just maybe, stick to the goldfish instead. Humped out. Pam Weaver was celebrating her 60th birthday and was given a peculiar present, a pet camel. Little did she know, this birthday surprise would turn out to be her last. Pam's husband found her later on and did not believe what had happened or what had done it. So, who was the culprit? Well, you probably have a good guess considering what we've talked about. It was none other than the 24 stone camel. Detective Senior Constable Craig Gregory speculated that the camel, in its attempt at, well, love, may have been expressed in the most unexpected manner. Now, while camels may not be your everyday backyard buddies, it seems this particular camel took its role as a birthday surprise a bit too seriously. As Mr. Weaver puts it, she had a love of exotic pets, and this affectionate gift turned upside down in a most unexpected way. A Cat's Life Janet Veal, a 56-year-old animal lover, was discovered on the kitchen floor of her isolated house. Now, the peculiar twist in this unusual tale lies in the startling aftermath. You see, Janet's neighbors raised the alarm when they hadn't seen her for a while, and the letterbox was bursting at the seams. Police were called, and they were confronted with the challenge of entering her home. They had to resort to a ladder and an unsecured upstairs window. But here's where things take a disturbing turn. The house was untouched for weeks. And I mean weeks. The floor was covered with rubbish, meaning that no one was looking after the property. And to add another layer to the story, Janet was being nibbled on by her own cats. Yes, you heard it right. Her cats were eating her. You see, it seems the feline friends, left without food for months, resorted to the unthinkable after Janet's demise. One of the officers at the scene confirmed that she had fallen to a natural disease and her pets were unfed for quite some time. In the end, a post-mortem suggested Janet possibly succumbed to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. 46 Pets Feast it was August of 2015, when the owner of nearly 50 dogs met her demise due to complications from hepatitis C. But what followed was a sequence of events that baffled everyone. You see, this 65-year-old woman had already raised concerns in the past due to her weird habit for hoarding. When authorities arrived at the property, the dogs were very protective. They described it as if they were trying to enter an enclosure filled with hungry lions. But here's where it gets eerily strange. After her unfortunate passing, the hungry dogs she once cared for, and perhaps even considered her family, took a dark turn. When authorities finally got the courage to enter, they were met with a troubling find. The dogs had partially consumed their former owner. In the aftermath, animal control officer Rita Tharp and a veterinarian worked tirelessly to salvage what they could. But fate was set when one of the dogs leapt at the very person trying to help them. They had to be put down. Shark Vomit Mystery As the massive tiger shark was being admired by hundreds of onlookers, they noticed its strange behavior. It began with the shark vomiting a rat and then a bird. The crowd was flabbergasted to say the least. Then the shark regurgitated an arm, and it only got murkier from here. The left arm had a distinctive tattoo of two boxers sparring. And get this, it was not bitten, but surgically separated, which started a crime mystery once the police got involved. It belonged to Jimmy Smith, an individual who had a history of crimes. He worked alongside another criminal, Reginald Holmes. It was revealed that the partners separated due to blackmailing. Police also reported that the shark got the arm from the ocean before being captured. Now call it fate or coincidence, but it is remarkable that the shark decided to regurgitate the arm during the show. And that, dear audience, is the tale of how a shark's unsettling repast unraveled a crime mystery. It is time for today's open discussion. What you're looking at is actually real. No, I'm not kidding. This took place all the way back in 2014, when a team innocently made an ad campaign titled Never Run Out of Contacts. 
They unintentionally created a spot featuring a guy getting swallowed by a snake. Just another day at the creative office, right? But another channel was making a show called Eaten Alive, so they decided to have it play during that show. What do you have to say about it? Do share with us your opinion down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.